Hello. You may be wondering what you are seeing in front of you. Well, actually, it's a 2006 15-inch MacBook Pro battery that has gone horribly bad. In what sense? Well, as far as you can uh, see in these images, the battery has severely bulged. It has bulged so much or expanded so much uh, due to age and probably a less than great uh, construction that it has severely deformed the case. Think about it. <clears throat> of course, these events are quite rare and we are talking about a laptop that is already about 17 years old at this time. But uh, think again. These things can happen and probably some did years ago because uh, bulging batteries are not a new event and of course as time goes by we can probably expect more and more of them and just as well and it's important to know that uh, bulging batteries are not um, let's say um, one of a kind experience they can happen for all devices depending on age and depending on the build of that particular model. Of course, this was at one point glued with uh, sticky tape to this uh, plastic cover. So it was flush at one point. But right now, as you can see, there is a bulging that probably is much over three centimeters, which is huge. Of course, such deformation could easily have uh, made a serious uh, damage to the laptop's case, unless, of course, those um, plastic parts or other would give in and would take part of the pressure that was exerted. But as far as I can tell, with so much pressure, because this one is almost rock solid, you can be sure that the case would be clearly deformed. And I'm not expecting otherwise, particularly uh, if we are taking into account the fact that the battery is um, in a, placed in, a, in an aluminum case, so it's not um, severely reinforced, even if there is um, a fraying system inside. But it's nothing. It's, you have no um, titanium or carbon fiber or any sort of uh, steel powder that would uh, offer a lot of... Uh, strength. What you notice over here and why I wanted to present to you this aspect, not all batteries behave the same. Um, actually, this is a six cell battery. You just count and that's it. And if you look closely, you're going to notice that there are at least two that have not been affected and all of the four in this area have been severely bulging. And even if you look and may think that, oh, nothing of particular interest has happened, this is a totally different affair. Because, as you notice over here, the electrolyte has already leaked. And this is not a good aspect. So probably much more severe damage would have happened if this battery was left in the laptop. It's one of the reasons why, particularly on vintage or very old laptops, I take the battery out because there is this uh, risk. Of course, the interesting part is that more modern laptops do not have a battery that can be easily taken out without um, unscrewing the whole chassis. But this is something you will uh, get used to. What else uh, should be noted? The battery's construction is not particularly good, as you can see the uh, latching system or the, the way in which the frame is being uh, thought of is quite poor. And if you have, a, if you're thinking, if an Apple laptop, because this is actually an Apple laptop, we have no doubt about that, and it's an original battery, you would not see that in a forgery or in a clone battery. So clearly there was something wrong in the way in which those batteries were created. And why I'm saying that? Because ultimately, in these uh, sort of circumstances, a battery should either vent, and in that case it would slowly leak out uh, the excess vapors that are being created because those are excess vapors. This is not solid in the sense of um, the electrolyte that simply 
gets solid outside the, the layers that form part of the battery. No, it's the vapors that are being released and then they are trapped in this hermetical seal, which of course is good to a certain extent and worse in others. In this case, the hermetical seal has already been breached and this is why this battery has severely deformed and uh, it looks right now as is it collapsed why uh, all of this is important first of all we cannot probably reliably produce batteries that have no such risks however there are some mitigations that could be made and um, since I have batteries that are even older than that, I can say that clearly uh, something in the way in which those batteries were designed was horribly wrong. And why I'm saying that? Because um, ultimately when, when a battery is close to um, its uh, final days, it should mm, wear out gracefully. And this means that even if the, uh, the electrolyte may start to... Mm, get out from the initial layer in which it was placed it should not lead to so so much uh, vapors that are being uh, released it's quite difficult to design a battery that would fail in in an acceptable way but it's not impossible and clearly the way in which uh, the batteries were built in this case um, i think it's very telling because if there would have been no problem then no battery would have this behavior if there would have been a clear flow for all of them and not a manufacturing defect then probably none uh, of them would uh, exhibit so it's either all or nothing if some exhibit it and others don't it's clearly a design or a manufacturing problem and in this case i can think about uh, multiple reasons but as i'm not sure i'm not going to um, uh, push any further if this is a risk that is only to older uh, Apple computers? I don't think so. I have batteries that are even older than this, probably from around 2004, and still they have not bulged. So there was clearly a problem with this particular model and this particular battery type. And think about the fact that recalls, product recalls for batteries, were not quite mm, something out of the ordinary. But in general, Apple chose to... Mm, recall the whole laptop not necessarily a battery but i think there were such uh, programs that were underway because they found out the problems however this particular design um, leads to very compact um, a very compact build which of course is an advantage in certain situations unfortunately as noticed before it doesn't have a lot of leeway in case uh, things uh, go wrong so as you can see I don't think I have much else to say, but keep in mind that all of these details matter. Uh, and this is the main reason I really suggest you to always take out the battery from an older uh, laptop, because in this case you're, you're saving the most valuable uh, part. If the battery leaks, then of course it can leak and affect the laptop. If the battery bulges, then of course it affects the, the laptop's uh, construction its internal integrity and if nothing else happens then we don't know what it may be a few years a few months or even a few days down the line because in general batteries start to bulge quite um, soon and it's an it's a process that can happen and amplify in the span of um, months or even weeks so keep in mind that such uh, effects are not impossible and even if you haven't started to see something at a particular time it's no indication or it offers no safety regarding the possibility of not occurring again so i just wanted to show to you this extreme case because in many ways seeing such a thing is very telling in terms of the risk associated with uh, lithium-ion batteries and of course modern batteries may handle better but the important aspect is that there is always this risk. Whether it's handled better or worse depends on circumstances. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and noticed why you should be very careful with older batteries. And of course, in this case, you, you may also think about the risk of a potential 
uh, explosion or uh, electrolyte leak because if the case would have kept its um, internal dimensions, then it's not impossible that the, the cell itself would puncture and then the electrolyte would leak. So always think about the risks, never just about the fact that you got away in a particular uh, circumstance. So again, thank you very much for watching and I hope you saw an interesting video.